Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear grandpa. Happy birthday to you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. Thank you for those like overwhelming comments. If you're my subscribers, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first one to be notified. Guys, it is a happy birthday to our grandfather at Kebaroti village in Isebania, the Kenyan and Tanzanian border. This time we have crossed into Tanzania like wow, we are going to celebrate our grandfather's birthday. Have you seen guys? Have you seen? You see, I just went to bed to sleep yesterday and I came across the Virginia's uh, video about, you know, our grandfather's birthday. I was like, what? So the old man now is getting to 99? Is it 99? Yeah. He's been 98. So now he's crossing to 99. Hey, and remember, grandfather still needs a new wife, guys. <laughs> Avail yourself. If you are available and if you want to be given that big forest for a property, guys, we are celebrating our grandfather's birthday. I couldn't even sleep. I just wanted to wake up and do this video. That's why, guys, I've just woken up very early in the morning. I'm in my kitchen. I haven't even done my breakfast. I'm just thinking of like, what should I do? What should I do? And I'm like, no, why can't I do this video before I start making my breakfast? Or maybe we should make our breakfast together. Guys, what do you think? Do you love my kitchen? Mm, mm, I don't think so. If you do, leave your comments down below. <laughs> So guys, yesterday David Jr. David Jr. went to the market to buy some, to buy some sheep to slaughter uh, for the party. Hmm? I think all roads should be now leading to Sebania right now, guys. Because I see the way things are going, I think we should all be like running to Sebania. How can we miss our grandfather's birthday? How? 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 This has been, uh, some people have been calling him Congrat Grandpa. Eh? Others have been calling him, I don't know what. Now, it's time now for us to go and celebrate that old man. He's been here on the seat of YouTube and we've been talking about him. Like almost all the time. I talked until now people thought that I had gone crazy. People think that I want to be part of Marwa's family. <laughs> which I thought it was crazy because I don't understand why someone should just think that uh, this girl is talking about Marwa so much. Now she wants to be part of Marwa's family. Hmm? They've been telling me, you, you're just, uh, you're just jealous of Marwa, you're just jealous of that family, you want to be part of... What do you think, guys? Do you think that I'm jealous of Marwa's family? Hmm? I should just leave my home. This is my beautiful kitchen. I should just leave you to go and uh, be part of Marwa's family. What do you think, guys? So, Marwa, unfortunately, Marwa and Dimwanga are not going to be there to, be, to celebrate their father's, their grandfather's birthday, unfortunately. So all these things are done by David Jr. As we said in our earlier videos, it's David Jr. who's been knowing the things that this grandfather is doing. You see, he's been shown like almost everything in that home. Although he's not, it's not his home, it's his uncle's home. But it seems like David Jr. is like playing a very big part in this grandfather's family. Okay? So guys, I'm trying to prepare some milk, to boil some milk and um, some egg or maybe even some bread. You know, we are Africans and I understand that Africans, we have to be proud of our uh, African stuff. Uh, we do have the finger millet porridge. <laughs> yes, I do have the finger millet porridge, but I don't like taking it in the morning. I like taking it like in the evening, you know, like that in between time before supper or dinner. I like taking it because you know what finger millet does to someone? It it gives you a lot of appetite to eat. And as you can see, as skinny as I am, 
I do lack some appetite and instead of going for medication like uh, multivitamins and some supplements and stuff I prefer taking the finger millet porridge in the morning let me show you my finger millet porridge yeah this is it guys this this is the one that is already processed in the supermarket because I don't know how to prepare finger millet from the farm the way our comrade's mom does no, so I usually get this one from the supermarket and then I prepare the finger millet. But I usually don't do it in the morning. I only do it in the evening. So guys, how do you think? Should we go? Should we just move? Have you seen the sheep first? Have you seen the sheep that was purchased from the market? The one that we are going to slaughter. Have you seen it? Let me show you that sheep. Look. So my uncle is bargaining here. Welcome to our village market guys. This is how it looks like. Big bulls right here. So all of these, they are ready to go to the capital Nairobi for slaughter. All of these. We're leaving this place, the animal market here in the village. So we're heading back home. My uncle is right there with the sheep they just purchased at fifty dollars. Right there. So we're going home. So guys, we need to celebrate. Okay, we need to celebrate our grandfather's birthday. This birthday must be celebrated. You have to catch up what you have to catch up. For me, I'm celebrating my grandfather's uh, birthday with my breakfast. So whenever this video will reach you, whether it will be your lunchtime, whether it will be your dinner, whatever time, guys, let us celebrate. <laughs> eh? that, that's the only thing that we should do today. Let us just celebrate this old man's uh, hmm? birthday. Remember, he's a rich old man. Eh? You have to put on something good like me. This is the outfit of the day. <laughs> Guys, that's the outfit of the day for our grandfather's birthday. What do you think? And then maybe later in the day, I'll be popping some wine here. Guys, we need to celebrate. Yeah, I have some sweet red wine. We can celebrate with this wine. In fact, we have the glasses ready for the wine. So we need to celebrate. Say. Celebration time, come on. <laughs> Guys, I'm just so excited about our grandpa. Hmm? Do you know how it feels when you cross to another year? Do you know how it feels? It's by the grace of God. Oh. Hmm? It's just by the grace of God. Our grandpa, and he's still strong. I told you in the other video when you were telling me that Maro is coming to carry this old man, take him to his village. Blah, 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 blah. A strong man like that one. Someone who is still counting his years. With a big forest like that. A very rich old man who needs to marry again. That will be coming to carry him. And take him to your own villa. Villas are not for everyone, no. There are people who will, live, who will, who will enjoy life in the villas. And people who won't enjoy li their lives in the villas. Just because you have a villa... It doesn't mean that everyone will enjoy their life in the villa. Mm -mm. The old man will enjoy his life where he is. You see, if you have something good, go and share with him there in the village. Me, I've learned a very big, big, big lesson from what David Jr. is doing, actually. I've learned a very big lesson. Because even me, at some point in life, I thought that I should make this my house very nicely. So that I can go home and carry my father. Because my dad is also old. In his 80s. I should carry him and bring him here. But now I've learned something. Hmm? If I want to make my dad happy. I'll carry everything that he needs. And take it at home. Where he enjoys the environment. Where he has spent a lot of his years. You know, 
a place, an environment where he feels free. I should take everything that he needs there. If I want to spend my time with him, I should go there, not carry him and bring him in my house. Here he will never feel at home. Yeah? So David Jr. has really taught me something. He has really taught me something that I never even used to. You see, these things, eh? These things, every time they come across, we react on them. We are also learning. Even for those who are watching, we are all learning. As much as we are arguing, calling names, uh, telling me this, telling me that, we are all learning on these streets. Every time we see something, you know, everything they explore out here, we learn from other people. And now this is the biggest lesson of my life. I've really learned something. Now, this birthday, if I'm not going to get to Kebaroti village to eat that meat that they are going to slaughter from the sheep, hi, I'll be eating my own egg from here, guys. What do you think? <laughs> Enjoy my video as I have my breakfast here. Enjoy my video. Subscribe. Leave your comments down below as usual. And I love you all. Bye.